So a front door, you know, traditionally you want to have curb appeal on the front door. So a lot of people will get door and window packages that come from Europe and there may not be a lot of offerings out there, aesthetically speaking. So they often come to us and say, okay, we're getting our patio door here and our back door from Germany and our windows are from Germany or Poland, but we really want to have a front door that looks like the you know, image on this piece of paper. So that's where we come in and recreate any aesthetic really, while it also has you know, the functionality piece that is required for it to meet passive house certification. And that's the advantage of the custom door is that you can have it you know, meet or exceed the performance metrics while also looking like the door that you've always wanted to have your front door look like. It's right in there. So we have one gasket, two gaskets. This one here goes continuous around the perimeter. We have this sweep here, which is a double sweep. And then we have an automatic door bottom seal that we're gonna put the data in with a router later. It's a German made Atmer brand drop sweep that has an airtight seal. And then we have another gasket here on the frame. So that's three seals on all four edges. Goes in here and it will This is called a Euro groove that we routed through here. There'll be a multi-point lock. This is just a sample piece of the faceplate and the multi-point lock that goes in here, covers that door bottom sweep. This will get notched when we actually install it so that it extends beyond the uh, multi-point lock faceplate. And then we've got this gasket here, which is designed for an 18 millimeter rebate. This gasket here for a 12 millimeter rebate. And then here is another 12 millimeter gasket it goes in place here. There we go. So you can see when the frame goes on, we've got four millimeters of gasket compression here, five mil here, five mil here. And we will have about a four to five millimeter air gap along here, which is how the door is designed. The four mil air gap is to accommodate the swing. So there doesn't need to be a beveled edge as well as to accommodate the uh, room for the strike plates that go on the frame. And this gasket right here is continuous, so it gets mitered on the corners and actually travels around the bottom side of the door, up the two sides and across the top, unlike what this little demonstration is showing. And then there'll be an automatic German-made drop seal that gets routed into this section as well, which makes contact with the threshold. So you'll have this sweep against the threshold, this against the threshold, uh, as it continues across, as well as the drop seal. So as I said earlier, that's three gaskets on all four edges. I think I explained it a little bit earlier. You know, we start with the design, figure out how to build it, do shop drawings for clients and architects to review, as well as for guys in the shop to have plans for fabrication. We build the doors around an insulated core, in this case as a flush door. If it's a full light door or a door that has glass, it's built around, around that glazing. So it might be a style and rail door with insulation, a combination of insulation and glazing. And then we sort of work outwardly from that core and create the wood elements that the door needs for structural integrity, to take the hinges, to take the hardware, et cetera. And then we build the jam after we fully profile the door, like you've seen today, we build the jam stock around that final profile door, add the hinges to the jam stock, add the hinges to the door and then pre-hang everything in our shop over in this area prior to finishing the doors and then shipping them out so we know that they work perfectly when they left our shop.